A retired Englishman named Peter Lowe came to Taiwan to visit his son this year. When his flight was cancelled due to COVID, he extended his stay and spearheaded a cleanup campaign for the Damsui River. Lowe was astonished by the amount of garbage he discovered in the river. He began picking up the trash himself, bit by bit. Along the way, he's inspired a devoted bunch of locals to do the same. Stephanie Yang has the story. We're currently at the Ansui River. There are quite a lot of trash along the riverbanks, so a group of volunteers come here a few times a week to clean up the trash. The worst is this kind of plastic, which breaks up into tiny microparticles, which goes into the food chain, and the fish, shrimps, prawns eat it, and everyone eats the fish, the shrimps, and the prawns. I'll tell you, it's terrible, really. Along the shore of the Damsui River, there are a few items that don't belong. Plastic water bottles, styrofoam, fisherman nets, plastic crates, and more. The trash strewn here varies, ranging from the plastic bags and PET bottles to household waste. After discovering the astonishing volume of garbage here, Lo rolled up his sleeves and got to work. You usually find plastic bottles, um, fishing, fishermen's, fishermen's nets, plastic crates, crates, all sorts of plastic, plastic bags. Uh, plastic bags are very terrible because they look like squid when they're in the sea because they're, 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 they're clear like squid and whales and, and that kind of creature eats, eats them and they get plastic in their, t in their stomachs and it happens a lot, you know, all around the world. This is a global problem. It's not, it's not just here, it's global. If, it's not, if it doesn't get stopped now, if, if we don't stop this now, what, what will the future hold? I don't know. There are now 20 volunteers who join Lowe. They row their canoes and sandpans two to three days a week along Damsey River to pick up rubbish along the riverbank and mangrove. As the tide rises and falls at the estuary, trash gets stuck between branches in the mangroves on both sides. The volunteers have to work together to pull up garbage that's buried deep in the river. We found quite a lot of trash along the mangroves as well. As you can see, I found a bucket. There's also a lot of plastic that gets hung up in the mangrove trees, just on the edges. Now that's full of bird, bird life and insect life and all sorts of different lives, and they are living amongst plastic. And, and when I see it, I, I feel sad, actually. I've, I've seen birds tangled up with, with fishing nets, birds tangled up with plastic bags around them and plastic... Oh. And another bad one is, um, is face masks. When they get discarded, they have a string at the end, and that gets tangled around birds' feet as well. I was the first person to discover that Peter was picking up rubbish. Seeing how hard he worked, I felt deeply moved. I think we need to help him. After all, the power of any one person is limited. If we can influence other people, other people in Taipei, then the waters of Taipei City will become very clean. Chen Mingzong, a volunteer as well as a boat maker, said that each time they go out, the volunteers gather more than 20 bags of garbage in just two hours. Without their boats, the volunteers would not be able to transport all that waste. So far, they've mostly found food wrappers and a large number of glass bottles. They also found a number of discarded hypodermic synergies and some collapsible road signs from roadworks. This group of volunteers is mostly retirees. They range from a former shoe factory owner, martial arts teacher, financial specialist, shipbuilder, and costume designer. There's also a 22-year-old. A lot of rubbish is buried there, and then we can't pull it up. Our efforts alone are not enough. I hope that through this activity, everyone will pay attention to this issue. There's a large amount of styrofoam garbage. Many fishermen use this as a boy. I hope that the government can restrict its use. It is cheap and easy to use, but is discarded very quickly. If they don't have a place to recycle it, they throw it into the river. It's so easy for the fish to eat it. In the mangroves here, all the rubbish comes down from, with the, from Taipei gets brought up by the tide, gets deposited here. These volunteers say there's also quite a bit of trash along the sidewalk. The volunteers hope to encourage everyone who comes to the river to pick up trash when they see it, to do their part in keeping Taiwan's rivers clean for everyone to enjoy. For Most News, Stephanie Yang, Wudong Mao in Taipei.